Hello there and welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash, I'm your curator at this channel and I take you through tips, advice and anything else that can help you on your journey to being the best chap that you can be. Now today I'm going to talk about shaving products. I've done a review in the past and I'll probably do more in the future. But today I'd like to talk about a brand which I've been using for well over 10 years and I can give them my unreserved endorsement as an excellent shaving product. Because for me, and I've shaved my whole adult life, always been clean shaven, I have found their products actually make the experience of having to shave every day a little less onerous. Now I should say I'm not endorsed or sponsored in any way to speak about any of the products which I uh, discuss in the product reviews of the Chaps Guide. They are things which I've encountered, which I have tested and which I trust and I think that I would like to share with you in case you want to expand your own experience. When it comes to shaving, I've yet to find any products as good as those provided by Taylor of Old Bond Street. Now. We'll just go over to the table and I'll show you some of the products that I've used, that I can recommend, and uh, that you can buy yourself and give a try. And uh, perhaps in the comments section, you can tell me whether you think it was a good call or whether you know of anything better, because if you do, I'd be delighted to hear it and try it myself. So let's go and have a look. Well, chaps, here we go. Here are some of the products that I would recommend from Taylor of Old Bond Street, being something of a loyal customer of theirs for well over 10 years now. And just to explain something about Taylor's, so you understand uh, what we're talking about. Taylor of Old Bond Street is a family owned shop, which has its premises in German Street in London. So it's right in the heart of the very best chaps part of town, you know, in the same street that Taylor's have their flagship shop, and as far as I know, their only shop. Um, they've got, you've got Turnbull and Assa, you've got uh, George Trumper, you've got, you know, shoe shops by Crockett and Jones, Cheney, Church. There are some fantastic, some fan utterly fantastic places. If you enjoy gentleman's style and couture, to walk up and down to Main Street, and you know, you will not be disappointed just looking around. I probably stumbled upon Taylor's quite a few years ago. I walked into the shop and it gives the impression of being something of not disheveled, but inside it's not sort of clinically clean and all the products laid out in some sort of orderly fashion. It is a lot of stuff fitted into a relatively small space, but it's all nicely presented. It's easy to navigate around. It's actually a working barber shop at the back of the store where you can go in and just, you know, get your hair cut if you wish. Um, I dread to think how much it would cost because clearly it's in one of the more expensive districts of London. However, that said, I'm sure um, that there are those who are loyal customers of the barber there. But from my point of view, when I go to Taylor's, it's almost always just to buy some form of shaving products. Now, I should say they do other products as well, uh, but the majority of their business is based around shaving, gentlemen's grooming, things like that. They have shoe care products in there. They sell uh, things like um, natural sponges, lots of lots of very traditional men's grooming products, combs, hairbrushes, uh, hair oils, things like that. But for me, the only thing I ever go in there for is basically to buy shaving products. And uh, they're very modestly priced, considering they're probably towards the absolute top end of quality, you know, you're not investing vast sums of money. So, you know, from my point of view, I buy just a few things in there. I'm gonna talk about the shaving cream for the majority of this review, because that's what I've been using the longest. Aside from that, they also do a number of men's um, fragrances. So it's sort of different, different smells. They're very traditional in nature. They're also very modestly priced. So uh, for 100 milliliters like this, um, which you know is quite a quite a lot of aftershave, it will last quite some time on with daily use. Um, that bottle there, round about 25 pounds 95, I think that is. So you know if you're looking for something which is going to last a long time and you're looking for a signature fragrance, perhaps perhaps something from Taylor's, it's worth visiting. All different types of flavors and uh, smells. You know, from the very traditional, they made their own brand. You know, they've been around since the 19th century, Taylors of Old Bond Street. And some of their products are, you know, uh, family heritage lines. Many, many different uh, odors and fragrances, which 
you know, I can heartily recommend. One of the other products which I do purchase there with regularity is their hand soap. Um, you know, maybe not something that most chaps would think about, but they make the most wonderful traditional smelling hand soaps. This particular one is lemon. And uh, you might think, oh God, you know, are you really concerned about hand soap? But actually, you know, when you think about it, you wash your hands many times a day, every time you, you know, you visit the ablutions or um, every time I often wash my hands when I come home from work, uh, just as a sign that, you know, I'm, I've finished with the working day and I'm clean and ready for my sort of family time. And uh, washing your hands with a high quality soap is clearly a very nice way to start that experience. But the lion's share of the stuff which I've ever purchased from Taylor's is very much definitely their shaving products. And they make a fantastic range of shaving creams. And this is really the originally brought me to Taylor's. Lovely smelling ranges, all beautifully scented. I've only got a small selection of the, the product range they have here. Modestly priced. So a shaving pot like this, this is a, a cedar wood flavor. This is actually my favorite uh, odor or fragrance that Taylor makes their shaving cream in. And that would be £10.95. And for that, you get, oops, you get quite a large tub, uh, which will last a very long time. You know, you're talking months and months of shaving there at very high quality shaving. And I will um, show you in a moment how easy it is to obtain uh, a lather from their shaving cream. I'll leave that one open. I'll use that one in a moment. But they also have very, you know, varied smells from avocado to rose smell, which is uh, unusual perhaps, but very nice. Um, they also have one which I do enjoy very much, and that's peppermint. That is a really zingy um, fragrance. It also has a bit of a tingle on the skin when you shave with this in the morning. And I find it's just the thing to get you going. And this one very proudly says it does contain peppermint oil. And that's where that little bit of a zing comes from clearly when you shave with it. And it just gets you started nicely in the day. Now to go along with their shaving creams, of course you need something to shave with. And they also have a really extensive selection of shaving brushes. And here's just one of those. Um, I've used probably three or four shaving brushes in my shaving life with Taylors. They also sell the little sort of stands to keep them on because these, in case you're unaware, they, they really benefit from being uh, kept pointing downwards because um, it benefits the bristles. This is a, a badger brush. Now, you know, these are a bit of an investment. They vary. You know, the very cheapest ones they sell are around about £25. The more expensive ones are up, you know, in the in the 90 plus pound category, which seems very expensive, right, for a shaving brush. But don't forget, these are all handmade. They're all very high quality and they should be lasting you year after year after year. I've had this particular brush for over five years. The brushes I've had from them before all lasted roughly the same time. This is one of the beauties, though, of dealing with a family-owned company. When I originally bought a brush, this not this particular brush, but my last brush uh, deteriorated, you know, the hairs fell out, I bought a new brush from Taylor's, and that brush very quickly started to lose its hair. That was highly unusual, so I contacted Taylor's and said, look, I'm not happy with the brush, um, it's losing its hair. They immediately sent me a replacement brush uh, without any quibble or question, because they're that sort of company, you know, family owned company, customer service, you get the impression is extremely high on their sort of list of priorities. So as a customer, you can, you know, trade with them quite safely in the knowledge that if you're investing some money, I think this is probably a 40 pounds brush. It's not nowhere near the top end of their scale, but uh, you know, it's a very nice quality badger brush that I've used for five years and it's nowhere near the end of its, its working life for me as a brush. So, you know, you can invest with them with um, a bit of confidence. So I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to obtain a lather from a Taylor's uh, shaving cream. So first of all, I'm just gonna use a little bowl to assist me in that. It's just a simple bowl. I use this for shaving every day. It's just an enamelware bowl that I keep next to the, the sink upstairs. And in order to get it going, all I need to do is to dampen down my brush. Now, the secret to really effective shaving with a brush would be to allow your brush to stand in water for a little while. And uh, the badger brush then would absorb 
the water and it would make it easier to go onto your skin. In this instance, I haven't got time to do that. And uh, I'm using sort of cool water really, but warm water would be the best, not boiling hot, but warm. I've just dampened down the end of the brush and all I'm gonna do is very loosely, you know, just get a little bit, you saw that, uh, all I did was to rub the brush onto the, the shaving cream so that small deposits of the shaving cream are deposited on the tips of the bristles of the brush. Now all I need to do, I just get a little bit more water on the end and just to, there you go, instantaneously, instantaneously. And this is not in the best conditions really because I'm using cool water uh, and you know, the brush hasn't had time to, to steep in the water to make it uh, very effective. But you can see there, I hope, there's an extremely rich and luxuriant lather which has formed on the brush, which would you know, be more than adequate to shave um, time and time again, you know, if you like to shave and then go over the skin yet again. And that was just with the merest touch of the top of the shaving cream within the tub. So I hope you can see there that that is, uh, you know, a very, sensible position to take by using these products if you are a, a regular shaver and you enjoy perhaps a little bit of luxury in your shaving because you know tailors although they're going to be a lot more expensive than you know the shaving cream that you get in a squirty bottle that you might buy in the supermarket it's a totally different experience you know you're shaving with a product which is imbued with you know peppermint oil if you're using the peppermint flavored ones i mean this one Oh, is uh, a cedarwood uh, scented shaving cream. And I have to say, every time I smell it, it, it fills me with a little bit of enjoyment. You know, it's got that lovely, natural, musky smell to it that cedarwood does impart. Um, very different to sandalwood, which is also very popular, and they do a model of that in tailors, but I do love the cedarwood. So I hope that's been useful for you today. And, uh, you know, you can see there just how what the value proposition is. Typically, when I use a tub of this stuff, uh, 150 grams, it lasts anything between, you know, three to four months of daily use. So, you know, even though it's a little bit more expensive than your cheapo shaving products from the supermarket, what you're getting is something which is very high quality. Um, to get hold of it, you do see it for sale in, you know, higher quality barber shops. You also see it uh, in, you know, tailors, shops, things like that. I would strongly recommend going on their website and buying it through that route, and that way you'll get the best price. Because I've seen it very highly priced in some uh, supermarkets. I saw it in a tailor's shop the other day where they were selling tubs of this for £24.95. Well, this is £10.95 to buy directly from tailors. So don't get taken in. You know, the value proposition, which I talk about repeatedly on the Chaps Guide, is getting as much value for what, for your money, for whatever you're buying. Doesn't matter if it's shaving cream, doesn't matter if it's expensive shirts, footwear, doesn't matter. You must get, it is your duty to get as much value as you possibly can from the product that you're buying. And in this instance, buying it directly from the manufacturer, Tailors of Old Bond Street, via their website, is probably the best route to take. However, to help you, I will leave a, uh, a link below in the description box if you want to see where you can buy it, perhaps from Amazon or somewhere like that, and it'll give you an idea of uh, how much it'll cost and the different types of products that are available. Well, there you are, folks. Those are some of the products from Taylor of Old Bond Street that I've been using for well over 10 years, and I have found them to make my shaving experience a little bit more pleasant. And let's be honest, nobody really enjoys shaving, but if you've got to do it every day, let's take a little bit of joy from it if we possibly can. And tailors have made that possible for me over these last few decades. So I hope you'll give them a try. Let me know in the comments below if it hasn't worked out for you, or if you know of any other shaving products that you would recommend to me, and I'd be uh, delighted to give them a try. If you'd like to support the channel, please click the like button below and don't forget to click the subscribe button because that way you won't miss any of the future material that we put out and you will be joining this growing community of chaps at the Chaps Guide. So I look forward to speaking to you again very soon and until then, stay chap. <laughs>